How's it going peeps? Just a, a quick video today, uh, just to show you the draft setup I've got uh, in Meg's bar. Um, let's go around the back, excuse all the wires at the bottom. It's, uh, it's got me, I've got my amp, computer and all kinds of things going on. So I've got three pumps, uh, Coors Light, Estrella, Moretti. Now the cooler is a two uh, output cooler. And you say, well, I've got three pumps then. Well, two of them go into one. So uh, I normally have Moretti or Estrella, uh, whichever one I've connected. They'll both work. Just, uh, you know, they both through, pull through uh, from the same output. Obviously, I'm using, if I've got Moretti on, I'll use the Moretti pump, I'll use an Estrella, I'll use the Estrella pump. But uh, not a bit of snobbery, but, you know, you've got to, doesn't make any difference to the beer which pump you put it through, but, um, you know, it's just for sure really but you know for an extra pump i think the uh the estrella pump i got that for 60 quid um it's one of the uh designer ones that be of a barcelona so yeah the cooler there you go um you can see the input just with the corner connectors and then the output here and then it, it splits into two as we go up on the left hand side um, the beer lines go through to the back. I've got a trap door here that uh, this door here shuts and I put a latch on it. But that's the back of the garden, the back of the fence, and I've got enough room for two kegs. But I only have one on me and the wife at the moment. My son's moved out and uh, my stepson's got his own place, so just me and the wife. So I mean, 88 pints. Uh, obviously, a good few to get through. But you know, I considered these. Um, perfect draft machines and all this kind of thing but you know when you've got a few mates around you have a bit of a session they'll be gone in about five minutes and think about it 88 pints there's four of you five pints each that's 20 pints it's only four sessions isn't it um you know be gone in about three or four weeks the expiry date on that san miguel keg is september um but you when, once it's opened it's recommended you use it within <coughs> Five, well, five to seven weeks, but normally by three weeks I've smashed it. But, uh, anyway, I'll squeeze through the back. I'm sure you can see, you can see the pipes where they come through. Bloody hell. Not as young as I used to be. And here we go, there's my gas. And then it comes through. I don't know the exact names for these because I didn't set it up, but you can see the two couplers as it's not been in use. So what I'll do is I'll take off I think it's called a Sankey coupler, this one, and I'll put it on there. And then, obviously, just start to pull the beer through. This one's um, got to use for the cores of light. It's like a triangular connector. But I'll put them on there when they're not in use. Um, people say, you know, what do you do? Leave water in. You know, if you leave water in, water, water can go stagnant and start deteriorating you leave the beer in obviously that goes off but just run the line cleaner through it i just run a line cleaner through every time i change the keg and everybody comments on uh, what a decent pint it is because uh, obviously it's not got far to travel so i've got two meters from the to the pump but the old setup i think the uh the gas canister that was 50 quid deposit and it's 15 pound every time you fill it up and that'll do about nine kegs um, all these bits and pieces you can get online. Uh, Mike Cornish on Facebook came and set mine up for me, and then he came back to uh, put the extra pump on to make it into a, into a, you know, two into one. But yeah, the maintenance of it's very easy. I'm no expert at this, but cleaning, maintenance, you know, pulling the cleaner through, it's dead easy. You know, Mike went through it all for me, showing me what to do. When it's not in use, I just turn the gas off. Um, it's not been in use during lockdown because my supply of the kegs has been closed. But obviously they've just it's they've just opened now because uh, people can drink in beer gardens. So I just had that uh, San Miguel dropped off yesterday. So the average for what I've paid for that keg uh, works out about one pound forty two a pint, which is far cheaper than your perfect draft machines and all the other ones out there. I mean I'm not knocking them machines. I think they're okay, but aren't they just a big can of beer with a tap on? Is it, it, you know, is, I, I don't know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I, I just thought that if I bought one of them, it'd end up being under the counter uh, with all your electric potato peelers and all them kind of uh, fancy gadgets that you never use anymore. 
but anyway but uh, any questions about suppliers and, and stuff like that give us a message the cooler i've noticed i mean that cooler was uh, it's about 200 quid i've seen them online now Ooh, it squeeze back. i've seen them online for stupid money 600 quid but if you search on google for a maxi a maxi cooler either a 210 or a 310 there's different models for different outputs um there's companies that do sell them with 12 months guarantee refurbished uh, for decent money so if you do shop around i mean people are just taking advantage of everybody building their own man cave now and putting the prices up um like i said the pump this this i got brand new that was 100 quid i uh, got that on facebook buy and sell there's a guy on there who sells all kinds of pub stuff that was brand new sealed like i said that was on ebay that's about 50 60 quid i think and the cores pump i mean that when the cool was on that all condensates because uh, it's got water recirculation in the cooler so obviously you get a, it gets really cold to the touch and you get condensation on it um, and that was I say 40 50 quid that pump so the whole setup with the cooler um, less than 400 quid and then obviously you've got the labour for Mike to come and fit it for you but best thing I've ever done there's nothing like a draft pint in your own place so you've got, like I say, if you've got any questions, leave some comments there, leave us a thumbs up. Uh, if you're going to leave a thumbs down, tell me why, and I'll uh, be happy to take the criticism on board. Okay, thanks so much, and I'll speak to you soon.